All right, this is our fourth and final video in the lesson on solving special right triangle combos. All right, special triangles, I'm talking about 30, 60, 90 triangles and 45, 45, 90 triangles. But we're not just solving one special triangle, oh no. We're sticking them together and you have to solve one triangle before you can solve the next triangle, two in a row. All right, let's take a close look at number 13. Number 13 involves two 30, 60, 90 triangles. All right, I see the 60, so I know the other angle uh, must be 30. And uh, the way uh, a 30, 60, 90 triangle works is um, the short leg is across from the 30. Let's say it's X. The hypotenuse will be double the short leg. So if the uh, short leg was 5, the hypotenuse would be 10. Um, the long leg is just the short leg times radical 3. Can you see how it's all about the short leg? Everything comes from the short leg. So if the short leg is 5, the long leg is 5 radical 3. So hold that in your brain for a second. So this time they're giving us the uh, hypotenuse. Well, the hypotenuse is double the short leg. So if the hypotenuse is, uh, is 10, that means the short leg must have been 5. Now, we can use that to find the long leg. Because if the short leg is 5, then the long leg is going to be 5 radical 3. Okay? Now we've got one side of the uh, triangle that has the X on it. So this is our target. This is what we're trying to find. Now, um... This X, uh, you know, when I showed you the pattern, the model a minute ago, X was representing the short leg. So we can't do that. Uh, just understand this is a different X. This X is not the short leg. So that's why I'm going to use a different variable right now. Okay, so um, again, this is the 30. So normally we'd say, oh, this is X and this is 2X. Um, but we've got to use a different variable. So, um, you know what, I think I'll cover up this side so we can focus a little better. But remember that this is 5 radical 3. Okay, um, I'll just, maybe I'll just move this over for a second. I'll move it over here. Okay, it's covering up all that nonsense. Just for a second. Okay, so that is 5 radical 3. Okay, now the pattern of a uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle, let's say uh, we call this N down here. Okay, that's the short leg then the hypotenuse should be double that. So the hypotenuse here would be 2n. And uh, the long leg here would be n radical 3. All right, it's all about the short leg. All right, 2n and n radical 3. Now, um, this equation is one that we can solve. So let's do that. So if I want to solve this little equation, then what I need to do is divide by 2 on both sides, like this. Okay, that's going to give me uh, N. And really that's it right there. I don't need to put it in my calculator or anything. Uh, so N is 5 radical 3 over 2. Okay, so what I just found is the short leg. I just found N, which is representing my short leg. So um, that means this over here, the short leg is 5 radical 3 over 2. Now, if I want the, let me just clean this up a little bit. If I want x, okay, the long leg, um, that's going to be n times radical 3. Okay, this is, this is n right here. So, um, n times radical 3 is going to be 5 radical 3 over 2. Okay, that's the n part, times radical 3, all right? 
In other words, the long leg is the short leg times radical 3. So it's a, this stuff times radical 3. Okay, so uh, I need to do 5 radical 3 over 2 times radical 3. So here I go. All right, so it's 5 radical 3 over 2 times radical 3. You didn't really have to do the time sign. Um, and look what I get. I get 15 over 2. Okay, so that's, that's what this is. So that tells me that x is equal to 15 over 2. Not Z. It's, uh, my twos are looking like Z's today. Let me try again. Two, 15 over 2. All right, and that's it. That's the answer number 13. Okay. Number 14. All right, wow, this is a combo of a 30, 60, 90 triangle and a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Now, this 6 that they're giving us is very inconvenient because um, it is actually the long leg um, and it doesn't have a radical 3 on it. How rude of them to do that to us. Okay, I'm outraged. Now I'm going to just cover up this part down here so we won't get too distracted. So the pattern of a 30, 60, 90 triangle is, all right, this is the 30, that makes this the short leg let's call it n so it goes like this if the short leg is n then the hypotenuse is 2n and the long leg would be n radical 3 so this n radical 3 must equal 6 so we, we need to solve that so I'm gonna solve it off to the side though, uh, though. so I've got n radical 3 equals 6 so I need to divide both sides uh, by radical 3 Okay, so that's going to give me n equals, so 6 divided by radical 3, 6 divided by radical 3 is 2 radical 3. Okay, so n is 2 radical 3. So let's fill that in where it goes. So that means... Um, if n is 2 radical 3, that means this is 2 radical 3 right here. All right, 2 radical 3. Now, this is 2n. All right, so it's two of these. It's double this, so that's 4 radical 3. So that means this will be 4 radical 3. Okay, now let's uncover whatever I covered up. I almost forget where I put it. Is it over here? No, nope, it's down here. So I need to uncover this. All right, so this is now 4 radical 3, OK? Uh, maybe I'll cover up the top half now. So I don't, need, I don't need this stuff anymore. Erase, 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 erase. So 4 radical 3. In fact, I'll just rewrite it. So we just found that this is 4 radical 3 right here. Now this is one of the legs of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Now the way uh, 45, 45, 90 triangle works is it's isosceles. You can tell by the 45, 45. So the two legs are equal to each other. They're both the same. And whatever that is, the hypotenuse will be leg radical 2. So if this was 5, then this would be 5, and this would be 5 radical 2. If this was 7, then this would be 7, and this would be 7 radical 2. If this was smiley face, I'd have smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, radical 2. Okay? So, that even works for this expression right here. So I have 4 radical 3, so this will be 4 radical 3, and this will be 4 radical 3... radical 2. See how it works? If this were 7, it'd be 7, 7, 7 radical 2. 
but in this case it's 4 radical 3, 4 radical 3, 4 radical 3, radical 2. Okay, now radical 3 times radical 2 is just radical 6. So um, that tells me that the answer is x equals 4 radical 6. So that's number 14. All right, for number 15, we have two 30, 60, 90 triangles uh, stuck together. All right, I'm going to cover up this little guy up here for now. All right, so this is 60 degrees, so that means this must be 30 degrees. Now, the way a 30, 60, 90 triangle works is the short leg, it's all about the short leg. So if the short leg is n, the hypotenuse here would be 2n, and uh, the long leg here would be n radical 3. Now they were kind to us and they set it up right. They actually made the long leg something radical three. So that tells us that the n, you know, the short leg, must be ten. So I don't actually have to divide or anything, okay, this time. So I can just realize that this must be ten. And you know, so this would be twenty. Um, and that would make this ten radical three, all right? Ten 2n, 10 radical 3. Um, okay, so that makes this relatively easy. Now if I uncover the part that I just covered up, okay, so this is what's going on. We just found that this is 10. Okay, so now I'm going to cover up this part so it doesn't distract me. Okay, and this is 10. I'm just going to rewrite it. Now, this is a little more awkward um, this time because this 10 is where the long leg is, right? It's across from the 60, like this is a 30 down here. So this x is the short leg. So I can actually use the x because for once it's in the right spot, all right? So it's x, and then this is the hypotenuse over here, so this would be like 2x. Um, but this is the long leg, so this should be x radical 3. Okay, and this, they weren't kind enough to make this be something with a radical 3. So I do need to divide this time to find uh, x. And in this case, x is actually what I want. So um, once I do this division, that will be my answer. Okay, so if I divide both sides by radical 3 to get x by itself, okay, that's going to give me the answer. So x is equal to and this is going to turn out to be 10 radical 3 over 3. Okay, and that is my final answer. 10 divided by radical 3. Um, but just in case you're not uh, taking my word for it. All right, 10 over radical 3 is 10 radical 3 over 3. All right, that is it for number 15. Um, one more problem for this lesson. This is the last problem of the lesson. All right, two 30, 60, 90 triangles put together. Okay, um, so we have to start with the one that has a number in it. So let's start with this. So um, just for a minute, I'm going to cover up the rest of it. Okay. Okay, so I've got the 6 down here. Um, this is the 30. So this is the short leg down here. Now, if the, if the short leg is n, all right, the way the 30, 60, 90 triangle works, it's all about the short leg. The, um, the hypotenuse should be double this. So this would be 2n up there. Now, this is the long leg, and that's supposed to be n radical 3. So this is where we focus our eyes, because that's the only number we have. So we need to solve this little equation for n. So 6 equals n radical 3. And uh, I can solve this by dividing both sides by radical 3. Okay, so if I divide by radical 3, okay, now that's going to give me 2 radical 3. Don't believe me? So it's 6 over radical 3 and I get 2 radical 3. Okay, so I just found n. Okay, so n is equal to 2 radical 3. Great. 
So that's the short leg I just found. That's what n is. So that means this is the 2 radical 3. Okay, now the hypotenuse is double n. So the hypotenuse would be 4 radical 3, because I got to double it. Okay, so this right here would be 4 radical 3. Okay, so let me clean this up a little bit. So we solved this much so far. Now let's go ahead and uncover what I covered up. Okay, and maybe I'll use it to cover up the other side this time. So we just found that this right here was 4 radical 3. So I'm not going to need this anymore either. Okay, now this 4 radical 3, which you probably won't mind if I just slide it over here. 4 radical 3. Um, this is now the short leg because of the way it's across from that 30. Now, we know the way a 30, 60, 90 triangle works. The short leg... Um, if you wanted the hypotenuse, you would double it, all right, and that would make 8 radical 3. But if you want the long leg, that's what this is, you take it and you stick a radical 3 on it. So this is going to be 4 radical 3, radical 3. Do you understand? This is the hardest thing um, for kids to understand, all right? So just understand, like, if this was a... 7, right, then this would be a 14, okay, but this would be 7 radical 3, okay, so because we take the short leg and we stick a radical 3 on it, so this time instead of a 7 and I'm sticking a radical 3 on it, it's a 4 radical 3, so I'm taking a 4 radical 3 and I'm sticking a radical 3 on it, it's the same thing. All right, I hope you can understand. So, now all I have to do is simplify this, and I'm done. Uh, radical 3 times radical 3 is 3. Okay, these together just make 3. So this is 4 times 3. So the final answer is x equals 12. That's the final answer for number 16. All right, if you didn't remember about the radical 3 times radical 3, you can just put the whole thing in your calculator. 4 radical 3, radical 3. 4 radical 3, radical 3. And you get 12 that way. All right, guys, that was the last problem of the lesson. I hope it was helpful. Um, please make sure that you can do all of these problems by yourself. These are very tricky problems. I hope you weren't just copying off of me or you know just copying off of the answers. Um, please go back and make sure you can do these problems on your own. Alright, I'll see you on the next video.